welcome to the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of December 13th, 2021. I'm Catherine Haleko, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Nicole Eridix. Hello. Every week we chat about the things parents are talking about, complaining about, and obsessing <laughs> about right now. This week we're complaining about doctor's offices and obsessing about parties, holiday, and otherwise. We also take a couple of breaks for an entertainment discussion and a recommendation roundup. Today, we are talking holiday shopping and other prep. Um, Is everyone stressed out about this supply chain thing that is all we ever hear about? Have you done your shopping? Uh, what's What's it look like at this stage in the game, Nicole? Well, it's pretty abysmal at this point. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I am nowhere near what I would typically be in previous years, but just due to life circumstances, I haven't had any really extra free time to, to shop. And I do most of my shopping online. I do try to avoid going to the stores as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I, I did get caught up in that whole the supply chain and <laughs> get your stuff early. And I bought one thing in like the beginning of November <laughs> and I was, I thought I was on a roll and I was like, okay, I'm going to get all this done. And then that didn't happen. So, so I have one thing <laughs> I'm hoping that the supply chain pulls through and, and um, you know, gets me in my the other next thing. Few in weeks. The next, yeah. 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 Or I know it's days, crunch I guess. time. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know. I'm like, oh no, it's getting closer. And I still have not gathered the goods. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, I, it's definitely a, a different year for me personally. So, and then of course, added to the whole, you know, shopping situation. Is right. it even real? Is anybody even finding that there's a, that their stuff is getting delayed or there's nothing available. Like what's, what's everybody's experience with that? Like, is this- I've been getting stuff just fine. Yeah. And my I- daughter also orders things from Amazon. She's been getting her stuff just fine. I think it's, it's like a real mixed bag. Like we have a little tiny part that's missing from our dishwasher mm. and my husband ordered it in like September and <laughs> oh, it's still not okay. here. I mean, thankfully we can use the dishwasher um, yeah. without it, but uh, it, you know, and of course, you know, he checked and they're like, yeah, it's, you know, sitting on a mm. boat somewhere. <laughs> like it's really, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like a 25 cent piece of plastic, you know, it's yeah. just right. it's not a big thing, um, but it's, you know, buried at the bottom of a shipping container. So. <laughs> well, in fairness, we once had a, I think it was a heater or an air conditioning part that was similarly, yeah, we'll order it. Maybe you'll have it for next next summer slash winter, whichever one it was. And it right. just took forever. So that might, must be a small, inexpensive, and low priority, (laughs) irreplaceable parts seem to be It's just, it's like the big thing, probably the big expensive thing you could get the, you know, the tiny widget you need to make it work, you know, call us in three months. So I'm not sure that's in this case, it's supply chain related, but it seems to be a general truth of household annoyance. Right. Right. Yeah. And you know, like my mom definitely is stressed. So she, and because last year she had a box that she mailed us, um, that took three weeks to get here. (laughs) Um, U S postal service. And yeah, it, it took three weeks. And when it came, it had no postage or stickers or tracking (laughs) indicators of any kind. It just, appeared on our porch. Wow. (laughs) Wow. It had our address on it and it had her address on it and that's it. (laughs) So anyway, um, so she, she's been burned. So she sent (laughs) one gift that, that we got, you know, like weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she sent another box that's already here. So, uh, the way it affected me was, you know, her nagging me from like (laughs) early November as to what she should be 
she should be shopping for. So, oh, oh, one of those, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I would say I'm kind of behind. I mean, I I haven't usually my husband and I sit down and go like, okay, what exactly are we getting for the kids? And right, you know, is it do we have the right stuff and the right amount of stuff um, for each of them? And we haven't done that. <laughs> so. so you're behind as well. I remember <laughs> yeah. those days. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, I've gotten things here and there for sure, but it's yeah. not it's not done by any stretch. <laughs> I'm also finding that things are changing as my kids get older. Like yes. the, you know, what they're what what I'm getting them, what they're needing, what they're wanting. It's yeah. not it's it's not as much like physically, but monetary yes. <laughs> monetary uh-huh. wise, it is just the same amount. <laughs> yes. So if I'm not more. That, yeah. I'm finding a big changes in that department mm. too this year. Probably which is why I'm struggling a bit more because it's like yeah. you know, but but there's only a, you know, I'm used to getting them a certain amount of gifts, but then mm-hmm. it's not nearly as much, but it's the same amount. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. And we went through that phase and now we have gloriously come out of it into a phase where really nobody wants anything. And so we're just kind of not doing the Christmas present thing particularly. Mm-hmm. Uh, two years ago when we went on vacation, we wound up just each getting gift exchange items for each other person in the family from the gift shop at the resort. Mm-hmm. And it was so fun. And it was the first time the kids had gotten us stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was just it was just nice. So we're going to that same place again this year, and we're planning to do that again um, because you know it gets to the point where somebody asks you what you want for Christmas, and it's like, well, I don't know. I guess I could think of something, right, and right. so we're just skipping that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's so, great. Yeah, I mean, my daughter is working and if she has something she wants she just goes buys it for herself she's not going to say hey in three months I could get this for mom Mm -hmm. so and my son really wants keys all the time but it takes him just fantastically long to figure out which ones he wants so Mm -hmm. I think he still hasn't told us what he wants for last Christmas so (laughs) we're just you know we're kind of coming out the other side and saying you know what no wrapping paper no expensive right. presents. We had a, I think we put a $10 limit on everything. We just each brought our little bag out from the gift shop and distributed the gifts on Christmas morning. It was wonderful. So I think that's going to be our thing from now on. If we're staying at home, maybe we'll just all go to Walgreens and buy each other something <laughs> <laughs> until yeah. the theoretical future event of grandchildren, in which case then we'll be back. Then Terry's going to shop. Then then yeah. the supply chain better be snapping too, boy. <laughs> so that's kind of how I, I feel like with my, you know, with older kids and then they're both, you know, at challenging financial times in their lives, yeah. strapped with student loans and, <laughs> um, yeah. and trying to, you know, be, you know, live as a, as a student and so it's hard to like yeah I don't know I mean there are things that we definitely want to get them because of Mm -hmm. that but then to have them get us stuff it's like no don't (laughs) Don't well a ten dollar limit (laughs) right (laughs) yeah you can get me a a a scone from Starbucks and put a bow on the bag (laughs) yeah 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 it's it's just interesting yeah it's funny I know in one year I mean with my parents, it just got to the point where we were just giving each other gift cards for, you know, the same amount back yes. and forth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is the point? <laughs> the ceremonial exchange of gift cards. Mm-hmm. Everybody pass it to the person on your right. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we doing here? Yeah. It's no fits. I mean, the gift cards at one time seemed like such a good idea. And now they're sort of like, I can do better well, this. My kids are like, forget it. Just Venmo me. Right. <laughs> I don't want a gift card. Hit me with the cash. <laughs> That's a good it's idea, like, actually. It's 
too much effort for them to like <laughs> scrape off the bag and key in the digits. And then you always wind up with like, you know, a dollar twenty seven yeah, left on it that you yeah. can't do anything with. Totally. So the gift cards have gone the wayside even here in our family. <laughs> it's like just yeah. Then you know, right to Venmo. <laughs> yep. Venmo mm-hmm. should put out a Christmas themed uh promotion based on that. Don't really wrap, good. don't order. The supply <laughs> chain is messed up. Just Venmo everybody. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they have plenty of little Christmassy gifts and stuff that you can add yeah. to your exchange. <laughs> yeah. Since they have lots of those. Yeah. So what about other kinds of I mean, Terry, we know that you don't really decorate much. (laughs) (laughs) Nope. We have a tree uh, that has no ornaments on it. (laughs) It has lights. Wow. Well, that's sort of nice. Yeah. Yeah, we have have the the tree up and um, the lights on it. And then some of the outdoor lights that we do Hmm. are in place but other than that all the rest of the but do you Christmas not have stuff. the nostalgic ornaments that your kids made at different points in their lives that you have to hang on the tree well oh, we yeah. we have tons of ornaments. i mean we just yeah. haven't gotten yeah. to the i would part feel i could do, do with that a lot of it because we have a ton and we usually our tree is not that big and so it's sort of ridiculous but it's like oh it's that one i have to hang that one. Oh this yeah one. i mean there's always room for for another ornament well, actually uh, i lied because we do have one ornament on our mm-hmm. tree which is mm-hmm. this cute little like felt stuffed sloth that they were Aww. selling at the place where we bought our tree so we were like this guy's cute he's coming home with us <laughs> we don't have enough of these yeah we do <laughs> yeah. if you just buy all new ones then you don't have to bring the box down from the attic it works out really well mm, yeah well, and the funny thing is that my husband brought the boxes out, like, before we even had the tree, he was putting the boxes in the <laughs> living room, like, okay, so yeah. they're sitting there, they're waiting. This is our they're holiday decoration, we have these turn. boxes that we take out, <laughs> right? and then at the end of the holidays, we put the boxes back. Right. See, I want to get to the festive. point where I don't need boxes, I just want a room where I can just move the tree <laughs> that is fully decorated right. <laughs> into the room throw a sheet over it and, you know, put just kind of pile everything else up beside it. And then Aww. we'll bring it out the and next then year. Every now and then during the year, when you need a little Christmas, you can just go in, lift up the yeah, sheets and under the, the tree for a few minutes. I know. One of, I know one of my friends does that. She has two Christmas, three Christmas trees, and she just moves them into her garage, throws a bed sheet over them. Y'all are using artificial trees out. though, right? We are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah forgot to mention that (laughs) yes we are artificial tree family thanks to my husband yes us too modular pine trees yes (laughs) (laughs) well i hope we haven't discouraged all of you our listeners from sending us expensive gifts we can wait we don't (laughs) care about the supply chain if it comes in june we will still say merry christmas to you but the (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that will be it for today's round one. Tune in tomorrow for our entertainment themed round two and later in the week to find out what we're complaining about, obsessing about, and recommending right now. We're always interested in what you have to say, so drop us a comment on our website, our Facebook page, or Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. 